Welcome to episode 6 of the SAMD Roulette Strategy using the area key from roulettecalculators.com. If you're not currently a member of Roulette Calculators, make sure you click the link up there. There's a little eye there, you can click on that. Click on the link within that and set yourself up a free account on Roulette Calculators. On there you can chat to myself and everybody else within the network and it's uh, pretty awesome, it's full of amazing people. Uh, likewise, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please uh, subscribe, like this video, and drop your comments below. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, watching the video all the way through does, and we're going to do that just now. Make sure you do watch it all the way through because we do talk about every aspect of uh, Sam's gameplay. And sometimes things change, and I really want the people that are using these tools to get a, a full grasp of how they work. So it looks like uh, Sam's been uh, tracking this table for a while now. We can see that uh, it's had five uh, occurrences of a depth of zero and three at a depth of one. So his starting balance, if you look over to that side, is £100 exactly. Uh, looks like there's been a dealer change as well. So um, that's uh, a bit annoying. So he, as you can see, Sam's refreshed the calculator. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to skip through until he's got a little bit of data because he's typically not going to bet for a while. Uh, it's currently at a depth of four, actually. So uh, that's looking good. Not sure if he's uh, going to bet. Let's watch it from here because he's logged a few spins. I see it did go to a depth of four. So that's probably a depth of three. Uh, that's gone to 26. Um, so that's on a depth of one now. So it does look like it is hitting that unhighlighted section. All of the uh, the numbers that you can see there that are not highlighted. That's typically where it's going. Just from observing what uh, Sam's just shown us there with um, where the numbers have gone and what the calculator is telling us. So he's on a um, WH Vegas roulette at the moment. Um, can't really see the the wheel too well it's just landed uh, I think in the highlighted so yeah that's gone to a depth of uh, one and then come in so let's see if he shows us the graph yeah there you go so we can see there the first one always minus one so that's a depth of three next one's a depth of one so I think Sam's gonna uh, just I'm not sure if he's gonna make a bet I think uh, he just wants to watch just to see if it goes to that unhighlighted section again see what happens so if you've been following all of Sam's videos you can see how he has been crushing it using this particular system with um, various casinos and dealers where he'll just log a table find out which side is hitting more often than not and then make his bet on there so you can see number two has just come out again that's the unhighlighted that's going to put that to a depth of one when he submits that number so there you go depth of one uh, so it's currently gone to a depth of three, a depth of one, and now it's currently on a depth of one again. I want to see if it uh, hits that unhighlighted section again. A dealer seems to uh, be spinning it quite consistently. He's spinning it from the, uh, picking it up from the number, in this case number two, and then when he releases the ball, it's uh, been released from number two as well. Some dealers don't abide by that rule, and they... Uh, yeah, they're, they're not that good. So that's gone to number eight. So that was right on the edge there. But again, that's going to bump that up to a depth of two. So it does look like this particular dealer is definitely favoring this unhighlighted section that you see up here. Uh, I guess Sam's probably going to wait until it comes in again and then start betting on the unhighlighted section. That's gone to number six. Okay, so that's come in at a depth of two. So you'll see that that uh, will go down to zero, and then obviously the uh, the data there will get put into the calculator below. So it looks like Sam's going straight in for the bet now. He is covering all of those unhighlighted numbers, and as you can see there, depth of three, depth of one, depth of two. So the calculator is pretty much telling him it's going to go to the unhighlighted section more often than not. Now Sam's really good at just doing flat betting 
where he's betting on the uh, unhigh. I'm sorry, just betting once. If it misses, he won't increase the bet. He's not doing a progression. I know he has done. He has done a few progressions. That's gone to zero, so that's given him the win. Only just. So it's right on the edge there. But that's given him £17 profit on uh, on his first bet. Now, it's on a depth of one, so I'm not sure if he's going to wait for it to come out. It looks like he is. He's just going to uh, hang fire and see if it goes to a depth of two or if it goes back to that green highlighted section yet again. Right, yeah, it's gone back to the highlighted section, so it's landed on number 25 just there. So that puts it to a depth of zero again, so I guess Sam's probably going to go in on the unhighlighted section again now. Yes, he is. And he's going to cover all the way to number, I think he covered number three, so you get the overlap there. Let's see what he does, see if he carries on with this particular trend. We'll see it land just after number three or, or way before like that that's good i think that's number 20 uh 33 so yeah just up there in the unhighlighted section so he's had two for two so far and that's put his balance to uh 34 pound profit 134 pound total and you can see here it's depth of three one two one and um it's currently on a depth of one again so um he's going to wait and see if it brings out the highlighted section again okay so that has gone to the unhighlighted section again so he's currently on a depth of two now So yeah, he is favouring that unhighlighted section a lot. Um, we've seen better where, where they're doing big long blocks of it, but um, it's also the patterns as well. If you see that pattern where it's typically going to the unhighlighted, then the unhighlighted, and then the highlighted, and then straight back to the unhighlighted, which this guy's doing. Um, if, if they break that and they get two highlights in a row, that means it puts a zero on the table. So have a look that's gone to number 14 so yeah that's just hit that highlighted section so now that's gone to a zero Sam's gonna go in for his bet he's covering uh, all of that unhighlighted section but yeah see what I mean about the graph so you can see it's got um, four three uh, sorry I mean that is a three but a uh, three one two one two now if there was um, two highlighted zones that hit straight away you would have one of these sort of zeros in between this block so if you see a nice big block there where there's no breaks in it with a zero then typically a uh, betting on the unhighlighted section as soon as it goes to the highlighted section is uh, is pretty good bet, bet style so as you can see it's just landed on the highlighted and now Sam's bet on the unhighlighted uh, I've used that game, that style of gameplay quite a few times myself. Um, I even did it with the air roulette, the air powered roulette, which um, I mean it did work for uh, for a while. But when I saw, uh, I mean, if you go and watch my video, you'll see how how bad that um, that table was, where the ball just stopped dead, and it was just really strange. But uh, it did do the highlight highlight there so you can see now we do have that one just up uh, sorry the zero that's kind of broken that up I'm not sure if Sam's gonna go straight in for the bet again or if he's gonna wait it looks like he's gonna wait so good gameplay there yeah I mean it is looking nice that graph Three, one, two, one, two, and then zero. So it's gone to number twelve. So yeah, it did go back to the uh, unhighlighted section. So he's probably going to um, 
watch it again and see if it goes to the highlighted section before he bets again. Yeah, he is. So I hope everyone uh, does take something from each of these videos when they're watching it. Because I know we, I mean, we've got um, over a thousand members now on the on the network, and uh, quite a few people of them are using these uh, tools. And I'd love to hear your take on it. You know what sort of uh, systems you're using, and um, if you've got any questions, please, please ask us. Ask us in the comment section below, or just drop me a message on the uh, on the network, or send me an email. I try and reply to uh, everyone as soon as I can. So you can see Sam's going in for a bet now. He is covering the unhighlighted section again because that's gone to zero. See, so he wants to see it land before zero. Okay, that. Not sure if he got that one. That, no, that went to 24. So, yeah, that was unlucky again. It seems to uh, be favoring that highlighted section a couple of times in a row now. So, we'll look at the table, and you can see there we've got a 2, 0, 1, 0. So, I'm not really sure what I would be doing right now. I would definitely watch the table for a a little bit um, before making a bet. Let's see what happens. So I think it's going to go to the unhighlighted section, but uh, I would be very wrong. Number 36. So you see it has gone to the highlighted section again. So Sam's probably thinking now, oh, I should swap, uh, you know, switch up my gameplay. Yeah, absolutely. He's betting just on the the highlighted section now because it looks like the uh, the guy's changed probably the speed of the wheel or the ball. I'm not sure, but uh, he has definitely uh, switched it up and seems to be favouring that highlighted section a lot more now. And it's gone back to the unhighlighted. So, yeah, pretty pretty unlucky there. So he's had a he's had a series of uh, bad hits. But that's the that's also the risk. Once you had quite a few um, instances of it hitting one particular area. So you can see there zero one zero zero. Now it's currently on a depth of one. It looks like Sam has uh, gone back to the highlighted section again. Put another bet on the highlighted. And uh, when he looks at the graph, I'll tell you why. Um, because the, I mean, is at the end of each of the highlight, um, unhighlighted ones at the depth, it is hitting the highlighted section. I'll explain that when we look um, at the graph. Okay, that went to zero, so he did get the win there. Oh, and he did a progression. You can see it's seventy-two pounds on that. So that's put him at one hundred and eleven. So it was a. Bit of a, a bit of a clawback. Okay, so let me explain what I mean. So when you see at the top there, you've got uh, just after that four, you can see it says one. That means it hit the uh, unhighlighted section and then the highlighted section to bring out that one. Then the two was uh, the um, unhighlighted, then the unhighlighted, then the highlighted. Then it went to unhighlighted, then highlighted, then unhighlighted, unhighlighted, then highlighted. And now, if you look at it from the last win where it says one, two, three, you can see it went to the highlighted, then it went unhighlighted, and then highlighted. And then it went highlighted, and then highlighted again. So that's why he's changed where he's betting. So you can see it has a had a dramatic thing. But I don't think um, Sam was liking that table. It looks like he's uh, ditching that one. And uh, I, I'm not sure if it was... Um, table wasn't behaving or if he's just had problems with it no he has a uh, switched out and that's a uh, very good to see as well because not every dealer is consistent and that one wasn't he was hitting a particular area but then he's kind of changed it and uh, I don't think Sam liked the look of that 
So what he's doing is actually tracking the numbers that you can see on the uh, the examples there. When you can see all of the tables there, it does show the numbers. So he's having a look through just to see if he can find one that is showing a nice level of consistency. So that, that table's gone to a depth of two. The next number was one. So that's a highlighted zone again. Then um, that's gone to the highlighted again, 28. So that wasn't looking that good, to be honest. So it looks like he's going to the Arabic roulette. He's going to log this one now. So he'll just be entering the numbers. So from number 14 and five, I'm not sure how far back he goes. Let's have a look. He's going from number 18. So I think he's just doing the... Uh, I don't know what table he's uh, doing. So that's 21. 6. I'm trying to find the table that he's logging. Okay, it's that first one. W uh, WH Sports Roulette. And that's current in depth of zero. So depth of one, depth of zero, depth of two. So it looks like he likes that one. So let's have a look. That's gone 24 to two. So yeah, that's gone to the unhighlighted section again. So let's have a look at the graph, see why he's gone on this particular table. Right, depth of one, zero, two. Okay, and now it's on a depth of one. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why he's gone this. Uh, I'm going to skip through a little bit, just so we can see. So depth of two is currently on a depth of two again. So depth of one, yeah, okay. Has that gone to a depth of three? Is that a lot? Uh, did he actually bet on that one? He did, sorry. I'll go back a little bit just so you can see the, see the thing there. So it looks like he um, he's placed a bet. Not sure what side he's uh, put the bet on. So it's gone to 20. Okay, so he bet on the highlighted section. And it looks like he got that win. Okay, so that cleared that out. So depth of two was a maximum. So depth of one, depth of zero, two and two. So not sure if he's going to go for the unhighlighted section now or if he's going to watch it. Yeah, it looks like he's going for the unhighlighted section. But yeah, as you can see, if, if the table, like the previous table he was on, just isn't panning out, if it's not doing that... Um, you know, if it hasn't got that level of consistency that makes you comfortable, just back out, find another table. And if you can't find one, get out, you know, there you go. He's just got that win again. So he's up at 145 now. So he's definitely clawed back. He's at 45 pound profit. Um, it's currently at a depth of one. Um, not sure if he's going to go for a depth of two or if he's just going to watch it. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to watch this one. What do you reckon? Highlighted, unhighlighted. The stats are saying unhighlighted. And it is just on the highlighted, right in the on the edge there. So that's gone to um, depth zero again. So I guess Sam's probably going to bet on the unhighlighted now. Or is he going to watch it? Yeah, he's going to bet on the unhighlighted. Which kind of makes sense because... Uh, it is showing nice blocks there. That's 
on to number 34, so he's got the win there. 34, so that's put him up to £162 now. It's at a depth of one, so I think he's probably just going to watch this one because the last one did go back to the highlighters on a depth of one. Previously, it's gone to a depth of two. So looks like he's just going to be betting when it's um, at when that depth there says zero. He's going to bet on the unhighlighted section. That's what I would be doing right now. So let's see, is it going to go highlighted? No, it did go to the unhighlighted again. So that has gone to a depth of two, which we've seen a couple of times in the graph below. Uh, okay, he's switching it up now. Uh, so he's actually betting on the highlighted section. So you see it hasn't gone past a depth of two in any of these instances, and it has this time. So he's putting a bet on the highlighted, expecting that depth of two to come out now, which basically means it's going to hit that highlighted section. As you can see there, depth of two. So bet on that green highlighted section and see what happens. We'll see it land around zero just after. On zero, just as good. <laughs> so there you go, he got the win and he saw that. And I guess he's going to go straight back in with a bet on the unhighlighted section now as well. Um, so he's going to cover that highlighted section, uh, unhighlighted section, sorry. But yeah, so you can see there, hasn't gone past a depth of two, so that's a good time to bet on the highlighted section. Uh, and every time it's at a depth of zero, that's a good time to bet on the unhighlighted section. Again, if you're new to the channel and you're not sure exactly how this calculator works, make sure you check out the tutorial on the area key, because that's a calculator that he's using. He wants to see that land opposite side to zero. I went to number 22, so that's uh, right on the edge. I think he got that one. Yeah, he just got that because he did cover 22. So you get an overlap when you do the unhighlighted section. So he's at 196 now. So he's dropping his um, bet down to 20 pence. Uh, I guess he's going to go on the unhighlighted section because that's come in. See that land just there, absolutely fine. So that's put him to £202.80. And okay, if you look on the screen there, he's actually put a note across there saying, I should have stopped here, but uh, I guess he doesn't. So let's see what he does. So it's on a depth of one. It's like he's increasing the bet again. He hasn't put a bet on, so just wondering what he's going to do. So I went to 36, so that's gone to the highlighted section, so that brought in a depth of one. Let's see what he does. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see there's a couple of zeros in between them, but for the most part, you would expect it to go to the unhighlighted section now. So, uh, I think that's what he's going to do. Yeah, he's covering the unhighlighted section again. And um, yeah, I mean, he, he hit it, so I'm 
Not sure why he said he should have stopped there, but I know he does like to uh, he does like to double his money and then leave it. And it is important to set a goal, uh, you know, set a, a target and then leave when you hit that target. Because if you don't, you can get greedy and then the whole thing can go to shit. So, you know, just try and keep that in mind. Uh, I think he does stop now. I'm not sure. There's only a couple of minutes left of the clip. But let's have a look. It's currently on a depth of one. And that went to nine, so yeah, bought in a depth of one again. Yeah, so looking at the table there, he's had a couple of blocks um, in a row. Not sure if he puts a bet on now or if he uh, leaves it. Okay, he is uh, putting another bet on by the look of it. And he's increased it to a pound per number again. And again, he's betting on the unhighlighted section. So let's see what he does. So he wants to see it land before zero. Uh, that's number five, that's a little bit too before zero. Uh, he did have number 10 covered, so he was one away from uh, hitting. But again, that's dropped his balance down to 187 now, so, you know, it's uh, that's that's a risk that you take if you carry on. Uh, he's going for the unhighlighted section again, and he's doing a martingale on that, so he's doubled the bet. But, I mean, the table, the, the calculator has shown that it has a couple of uh, zeros in between those blocks. And you see that went to 18, so he just hit that one. I'm not sure if he had 22 covered. As, yeah, he did have 22 covered, so he was absolutely fine there. But he's at 221. There's only a few seconds left of this video clip, so uh, I'm guessing this is where he stops. And, uh, yeah. So that's that's the end of the video. But uh, another really good session from Sam. And again, thank you so much for sharing it and uh, for also pointing out that you should have stopped. You did hit your target. You've smashed. Um, you, you do typically smash it every time. But um, yeah, lesson: don't be, don't be greedy, guys. If you set yourself a target, stick to the target. Um, although Sam didn't, he still made an extra twenty quid profit. Um, so fair play there. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, um, please drop drop a comment and uh, give the video a like if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to join Roulette Calculators. There's a link in the description and also there'll be a pinned comment as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do that now. Hit the subscribe button, like the video and drop your comments below. I will speak to you tomorrow for the next episode, which will be episode 7 with the Samd Roulette Strategy. Take care, guys, and bet smart.